Hey guys, uh, today's beer review is gonna be a beer from Canada and it's the La Femme du Mans. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's French for the end of the world. So, and it's by uh, um, Unibrow or Unibrow, oh, sorry, Unibrow. And it's a 9 point alcohol per volume, 9.0. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting packaging. Um, it says triple fermented. And uh, as you can see, I'm get close to the camera. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still wearing my PJ actually. So, let's see what it is. It's camera right. So, you can see the bottle is very interesting. It's an extremely interesting bottle. Um, I actually have another bottle, the bigger one, the bigger bomber. Um, this is a 12 point. I saw this one and I was like, oh, let me try the. I never tried it before, so let me try the small one first. If I don't like it, and then, uh, you know, I just want to try it. So, ooh, some nice smoke came out. Um, I saw a couple people do this beer, and I've w always wanted to do this beer. Just clean my cup. Uh, um, it says you need a kind of a, a swifter or goblet. I guess it will do. It's pretty close, but I'm not too sure. It, it's pouring. Uh, it's a weird pouring sound. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it doesn't sound like a usual. Uh, beer that I, that I normally would pour. It did say there's some yeast, so I'm trying to make sure that I get all the yeast out of this bottle. Not much of a head, um, practically nothing actually. Um, but just from opening the bottle, I smell so much citrus. Uh, it smells like oranges, and um, that's the first smell I got once I opened it. Um, yeah, definitely a lot, lots of uh, citrus notes. Um, uh, grapefruit. Um, some apples, definitely apple, apple cider, apple. Um, just apples, definitely a lot of apple um, smell to it too. Um, as they get to this, and. It, it doesn't have much of a head, so uh, there's a little few points less for that, but I mean, you can't really hold for that. I mean, I had it for the fridge. I don't know the temperature. You're supposed to actually, um, it does not say anything about the temperature. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea about the temperature. And I didn't look it up, so let's uh, take a swig. Um, kind of um, weird. I don't know what kind of yeast they have in this. Uh, it's kind of. Uh, let me taste some more to it. It's a slight bitterness to it. Um, go down fairly smooth, but not. Um, something really tremendous, not wild me, but I do appreciate it <clears throat> for the most part. Um, mm. It tastes dry, um, bitter. I'm not getting much citrus um, notes when I'm tasting it, but the, definitely the smell. It's amazing. It's a it's a very good smell. Um, it's unexpected. Uh, from the from the smell, it doesn't it has no correlation to each other. I don't know. Mm. But. Decent beer. Uh, there's there's definitely an unusual taste uh, to it. Um, I'm considering that this is going to be like a, a wheat or a wheat um, or Belgian style uh, sort of uh, blonde ale. 
I'm thinking that's the uh, cat the uh, characteristics. And it's tasting very unusual. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I have no. I'm, I'm like confused of what to give this. But it's definitely a decent beer. It's something that I guess it's it probably get better as it ages because it's it it doesn't taste like any hop. No hops, not too much hops in it. It's nine percent. I do give it. It's nine percent, and it's hiding the alcohol per volume very well, very extremely well. I can't even. I w I was assuming this was like a four or five percent on beer. This is my first beer from the Unibrow um, company. Um, you do get a little apple at the, at, at the end of the of your palate, and it's um, very carbonated, um, but rarely any head. Um, and it's oh, I forgot about the color. It's the unfiltered, sort of orange, looking. Um, yeah, pretty much orange. And the bar cap was. Um, I don't see anything really. Oh, I will show you the bar cap because it was kind of uh, covered here. And it's to you here, to you ship you. Pretty interesting. Most caps that are with foil like that, you you normally don't think you have uh, it would have anything, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. So my final score for this beer, I mean, it's a pretty interesting beer. I might have to have, uh, like, do this again. I might even age the one I still have. Um, but it's a pretty interesting beer. I, I really do like it. Um, but I can't give it a high score because it's not wild me at all. I, I you know. <laughs> I have to say this is a... Uh, a decent beer. Um, uh, six, six point five. That is quite low. Most most people that have had, I've seen reviews have really raved about it and really talked uh, a lot of good things about it. Um, me personally, I, I, I do, I would drink this again, but it's it's not long. Maybe if it ages a little bit, I don't know if it's good to age, you know, but. There's been uh, there's been situations where I've tasted certain beers and then they taste better the longer I have them. Um, I did this with uh, Sierra Nevada's uh, Celebration, which is an IPA, and many people say don't do that because it will lose its top uh, characteristics. But I'm a type of person where I don't like my IPAs to be too hoppy. I like to be very balanced IPAs. I actually am, you know, really liking IPAs now, um, most of the time. But you know, it, that's my taste in them. But it, it tastes better after I had um, a celebration for about a month instead of one that I had for about a, uh, two days. I tasted the one that I had two days, and the hops was very strong, but it wasn't. When I had the other one, the, the other one, it was just less strong. I was reviews getting a little long. Sorry about that, and uh, I'll see you guys later.